day 26 of my challenge i'm trying to reach the rating of 2000 inches within 30 days and today i want i wish to get to 1900 there are 131 points left so it means that if i lose one game i might still make it but if i lose more than one i'm in big trouble but my goal is to win them all let's go let's go first game of the day and we play against e4 we play e5 and there we go we are in the bishop's opening i'm developing the knight to attack this pawn as always guys the the level of my opponent is really getting higher but the rule of chess are not changing we gotta develop our pieces and now guys i can take here yes there we go this is the typical trick that i like to play and it's actually a very playable opening this is called Nua Gambit. Now my opponent takes there. I go with the two pawns in the center. The, the great center. <laughs> the knight has to be moved. And um, sometimes they go here to give a check to the king. I know it might be surprising, but the best square for the king is on g8. Sometimes this square is really not good because imagine a queen being here giving a check. It would be nearly checkmate if this pawn would not be there, of course. So I have to be a little bit careful here. Yeah, d4 is challenging the center immediately, but I'm wondering, what if I just push here? Because the knight needs to be moved again, and I think I will push. So, what do I have to achieve, guys? My plan is very simple. I have a good center, and I have the bishop here. Look at those. And the position is quite open, so my bishop are having very good squares. Now, what I have to do is to develop all my pieces and to find a good spot for the king. So to play like h6, king here, develop this, rook f8, and I should be fine. This takes some time, but if I do it, it will be all right. Now this knight has this knight square, is, has this knight square uh, controlling, threatening to go there. So I think I have to trade. There is no other way. And after pawn takes, which is forced, this pawn here is a little bit weak. Now I'm thinking about playing a very simple move, which is bishop e7. I would be attacking this knight one more time, and I like it quite a lot. My opponent could play queen there. So I'm shortly thinking, should I maybe play the move h6? Just to make sure that the knight needs to leave? Yeah, I really like the move h6, because like this, the knight has to leave. There is no queen h5, there is not any other move, and the knight has to go there. And once the knight is there, I could even take it with my bishop and the pawn structure of... <gasps> I missed that. Oh no, oh no, I missed that my queen was not protected. I can't take here because my queen is not protected. Boy, boy, that's very bad. Okay, I'll have to develop this bishop out. Um, I'm not sure if I have to go there. Okay, guys, we don't give up. Huh? That, this is very important. We were pawn down, but this pawn is also weak, so maybe we can do it. Okay, so this knight has to be moved. So if I go here, the knight goes there and attacks my bishop, so I have to move it again. So maybe... It's just better to go here. Yeah, it's more simple. Yeah, I'll go there. I'll go there with the bishop. The bishop is developed. And now this knight has to move again because now my queen is protected by the rook. So it was much better to play uh, to play bishop e7. <laughs> because bishop e7 is also protecting the queen. But I just didn't see my the ta the tactic. So it's, it's okay. Do your tactics, guys. Okay, so bishop out. We go. We're going to do this. So guys, a small disclaimer. <laughs> I, I'll blame it on my, um, on my, I'm not feeling too good today. So I, yesterday I woke up with pain uh, here and also I just have a small cold, I think is a small cold. Uh, so if I lose, I blame it on that. No, I'm kidding. There is not even if I lose, I'll win this. If not, I have to play the grub the next game, and that is going to be terrible. Okay, so uh, let's 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 think. Let's go with the queen all the way to the attack. We are attacking nothing, but it's fine. Maybe we'll bring the rook here, trying to attack this little pony, and we are a pawn down, but it doesn't feel like that at the moment. Cause yeah, my opponent has a pass pawn here, but right now it's not really a big deal. Okay, they move the king away, and now if I play this move, I'm actually attacking a pawn there. Also, this pawn is pinned. <gasps> Ooh, this feels like playing with fire, guys. Uh-huh. This feels like danger. Could They're threatening to push here. But maybe this is a good move. I feel like I have to play g6 to block this pawn to be pushed. Uh, but maybe the pawn can still push. 
I I'm not sure because this bishop has to guard this pawn. Uh, if not, the queen sneaks here. I was thinking about playing the move c6, but then the pawn is advancing. I have to move, move the bishop. <gasps> this pawn is advancing and it feels really bad for me. So g6 feels like a move that has to be played. Now, queen there makes sense. My opponent really wants to push, to push here. Okay, I think it's time to play this move. And after pawn pushes, I take. Uh, knight takes, I take. Rook takes, I take. Queen takes, and I have checkmate here, guys. Uh, so my opponent cannot push. It's blocked. And I remove the king so that also if they take there, it's not with check. So it should be all right, I hope. All right, I think we have a good chance now to play this move and we consolidate this pawn so we can move eventually this little piece. Now we go back here. And yeah, they can develop there, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, they go there with the bishop. This is a good news because I think the bishop was way more annoying on this diagonal. Huh. I have... Oh, okay, but if they go here, they lose this pawn. Got you. Ah, that's so smart. They are playing really well. So I'm thinking about doubling my rooks there. But if I play this, this move now can be played. Because after pawn takes, knight takes, this rook takes, this and queen takes. I have no nothing. I have nothing there. So... I'm not sure. So that's actually a big threat now. So maybe I have to play this and then take with the queen. Okay, I like it. Let's do it. I take this. I want the knight to take and then I take with the rook. And then maybe my rook can go there and my rook and the other rook can join the defense here. We are a pawn down and in big danger. So now this pawn can be pushed with check. So I really need to be careful. I think it's time to abandon the sheep. And to go here. <laughs> okay, so at least it's not a check. If the pawn is pushed, we can just stake. So it should be alright. The rook there is joining the party. My opponent is really playing so well. Okay, I think I will play this move. Just trying to bring the other rook to the party. Or maybe not. Or maybe I should move this guy. Maybe I should move this. Or maybe I will go back here. I don't know. This pawn cannot be pushed. I have three minutes. No stress. So if I go back here, this cannot be played. I have the feeling this is the move. But then knight takes. Uh, there is even this. Then I go there and knight takes, pawn takes. But this pawn is weak there. So okay, let's do this. I think like if this pawn pushes, the pawn will be weak there. And I have few time. Oh no. Oh no, I think I jinxed it. <laughs> okay, they're tr offering a trade. Uh, this is curious. I'll just bring the other rook to the party. I didn't expect this. Uh, if I take, the queen takes. Okay, let's take there. Because actually, if the queen takes, there is a pawn hanging here. And I'll take it. I'll go take it. I know that there is a pawn hanging there, but this is a more valuable pawn. Because suddenly, I also have a pass pawn. Let's go. Now we bring the rook here. Perfect. We are controlling that pawn. And we have just five minutes. Guys, this is, I hope it's a lesson. When you are done on material, be resilient. Hold on. Uh, it's not over. It's not over until it's over. Okay. We have to bring this bishop back. And let's go here. Four minutes. Okay, we take with the rook. We might get to an end, to an end game. Okay. Rook is protected by the queen, but I could push there. And then the queen has to move here, and then I take this pawn. I'm coming back! Let's go. Yeah, so the queen has to move. <gasps> what? <laughs> I don't know why they plundered the queen. I mean, maybe they are paid actors. This is what my Twitch chat would say. I'm curious what my YouTube community says. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay. This was like a very much painful, but I think we, we're getting the win here. We take here, there is a check. We go with the king, and now we are going to give Nathan three moves, guys. Are you ready? To the bing boom bang. Rook take the pawn and then it's checkmate. The only move is rook there. I think if they do this, is yeah, they want to survive. Also, this is a good move. Okay, fine. I'll give a check here and then I'll bring my queen here and then I have to push the pawn and then this should be checkmate. Okay, we follow the plan. We want to block this king. I don't think the pawn is doing something there. So we just follow our plan. Do we have it? 
Let's check made at the next move. I believe so. I'll pre-move this. Yay! Let's go! Nice. New game, everybody. Oh, D4. We play knight here. It's a long time that we don't play against the move before. Uh, knight here has the idea to control the square, so my opponent cannot push the second pawn in the center. And then I've been... Okay, we play D5. So let's see what they want to do now. They want to go with the bishop there. This would be the Verasov. Okay, or Trompovsky. I will go with the knight here first. I'm protecting my knight. And then I say to the bishop, hey, what do you want to do in your life? Okay, you want to go there. Backward. I will also play this move. Then I will play this move. I mean, I have to avoid this, huh? <laughs> I don't want to be in big trouble. So play this, and then I will play bishop g7. Uh, I'm not sure yet how this bishop is going to be developed. But we will discover it later. <laughs> this is called Richter Verisov attack, and it's actually a very aggressive line to play with the white pieces, because usually white wants to go long castle, play queen d2 long castle, and then start an attack here. Now this knight can be taken, then the bishop could take back, but I could also play uh, the counter knight. Hee ha! <laughs> knight e4 attacking this bishop because i'm not scared of the knight taking here this would be a favor uh, but after this knight takes pawn takes am i fine with the two pawns being double there that's a good question mm, then this knight would be i like it i'll just go for this i like it because first of all i can support my pawn with the move f5 and then move maybe even f4 and this bishop is not experiencing such a good position and now I'm, I think I just win a pawn here. But not I take, bishop takes. I take, bing, boom, bam. Let's get it done, everybody. Let's get it done. This is an extra pawn. We go to the end game. And now we have to... Okay, we can pre-move it. <laughs> so the question is where to castle. <laughs> because the king, the king here doesn't look super safe. But the king here doesn't look like it can even go there. So, it's a good point, I, I believe. Um, also, maybe we also trade the bishops, you know, because this bishop is a little bit blocked by all the pawns. This is the, in theory, it's the bad bishop, the bad boy. Okay, this gives me a chance to castle long, but I would end up with triple pawns here, uh, which I'm not sure I want. So, I'll take here first. Yeah, I mean, I can always go short castle, come on. Short castle is not so unsafe. I'll go short castle and then play the rook on these, on these. I was about to say nuts. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, on the open file, I wanted to say. Uh, <laughs> rook here. There we go. There is a weak pawn there. A weak pawn here. My opponent is trying to attack me, but this loses another pawn, theoretically. I mean, I could take here. They take with the rook. I take there, but they get control over. The only open file, so I'm not sure. Maybe I just push here and I say like, nope, the game are the game is closed here. Okay, but I can take there. But if I take there, there is this pawn hanging with check. Ooh, ooh, that's not too good. But the idea is that if I take, this pawn is then hanging. So let's think. Maybe I just leave everything like this. Not sure. Yeah, I'm thinking about pushing there to kick this queen away. Yeah, I play this move. It's a little bit playing with fire because there is a pawn hanging here and a pawn hanging there. But I think that if the queen takes, I'm taking here. Oh, the queen doesn't take. This is very good. I'm now taking here and then this pawn is falling. And this should be just great for me. <laughs> I am just frozen. <laughs> I'll take there with a check. I'll also take this because now I'm protecting here. I'm attacking this rook. I'm attacking this other rook. So it looks like very nice yeah i expected this move but i'm just taking here and now the rook has to take then i believe it's true that this rook is not playing too much but i believe i can just push here yeah push and put you know that, that's my plan but i will play first this move it, it might be strange but it has an idea that if, as the, if the queen goes there i'm threat i'm going to trade the queens okay now this is not a threat at all so what is my opponent threatening? Nothing. So I just pushed this pawn. This pawn has a red carpet in front of uh, his future. In front of his future is not really something that you say, right? 
<laughs> okay, they are offering the trade of queens, and I think we're going to accept that. So we just stay there and we just push this pawn. And uh, we should be completely winning. Okay, we go with the king. The pawn is just two step away. If my opponent is taking the pawn, this pawn is unstoppable. Okay, they go there, they try to stop it. But you can't stop such a such a such a powerful piece like a pawn on the third rank just two step away now one step the pawn is unstoppable we promote we go with the king here it should be a very quick mate i'll try my best make it quick and pain painless <laughs> for my opponent check and mate let's go everybody yeah nice okay guys we have 14 points remaining to 1900 let's go we are playing at 2000 it plays the birds opening Ooh, that's crazy okay let's play the dutch variation this looks like a dutch so basically i'm going to develop my pieces out fianchetto and bring a knight here because it's aiming towards this very little squares now my bishop has said goodbye to the bishop forever basically this bishop is already dead it's already crying I'll just castle and play c5 to attack the center. So I will develop like this, knight there. It looks nice. Yeah, c5. Why not? I don't know if this pawn is hanging. Maybe this pawn is just hanging. <laughs> okay, my opponent didn't take that. That's good. Probably it wasn't hanging. I don't know, honestly. So should I take or push? Well, I'll just protect it this way. So this is the most, is the strongest piece for my opponent. So I could try to trade it, you know? Yeah, this knight gets here, but I think this is a very reasonable move because I trade their best piece. And even if the knight gets there after the trades, I can just move the queen and it's not a problem. The knight is doing absolutely nothing here. Okay, we take... We, I mean, as you can see, guys, now that the games are higher level, uh, there are some principles that are absolutely the same. Control the center, castle, develop your pieces. But then, you know, you have to make, um, like, l you have to level up your the plans that you make. And here, uh, it was like a little plan. I, okay, I traded the strong p the strong bishop for my bishop, but it was not so active. Now there is a piece here that is passive, so it's a good position. Now, after we have developed all the pieces, what we have to do is to improve them. So I should still find a square for my queen to go and then for the rooks. It doesn't look super, super easy, but I feel like this knight there is doing absolutely nothing. So we might bring it back to the party this way. And also the knight is unprotected. But wait, maybe there is a priority. Maybe we'll bring first this other knight. Because if this knight goes to this square and then this, I mean, that's a strong piece. I, I think so. But if we go there... There would be a tactic problem because after pawn takes this pawn is unprotected so maybe we really have to play this move and then this move okay knight there so we go here i am offering a trade because my knight there was doing uh, really very few hmm. pawn move so they don't want to be the first one to trade but they want to place a pawn here so that i have a weakness i might just play this and say no your plan is not going to succeed i'm going to attack your knight and you are going to take there i decided you are going to take my knight now <laughs> and i'll remove this move great and i have the feeling that okay they are they are attacking this pony so i will protect it wait but if i protect it like this then there is g4 G4 and where I go with the knight. So maybe I pull, I protect it this way. And then I go with the knight there and then with the knight on by, which would be really a strong piece. Really, really strong. So this could be a really nice idea. I might even consider trading this bishop for the knight. So I end up with a strong knight here against a very bad bishop. Okay, we go there. We get it. We get it done. This is basically what you call positional chess. I'm not attacking, I'm not giving checkmate, but I'm trying to trade uh my bad pieces for my opponent good pieces so to do a uh, smart trades this bishop is going to be blocked by all the pawns and if imagine i block this pawn i go with the knight there and then i trade even this basically this bishop cannot move at all i mean can do this that 
It doesn't look any good. Okay, now my opponent is clearly choosing this path to go with the bishop here and maybe to use it through um through that diagonal. But I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's effective. Now I am the feeling I need to open up something on the queen side. So I'm thinking about playing the move d5, but then there would be this move. But the pawn there is very weak. It's going to be very weak for a very long time. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll push here. Uh, let's see if the pawn goes there. The nice part is that if my opponent takes there, I'm going to take there, and then uh, all the pawn structure is really so bad. Okay, so they just pushed. Now, rook here seems a very fine move. Maybe one day I will push here. They really wanted to, to attack me, right? I, I will attack them. Let's push here. I want to open up something. I want to get, I get there with my pieces, you know? I need to find a way. Okay, so they are going. Now they are fighting for the center. I'm not sure. So I'm going to take there. They are going to take. I take. They take. And then I can sneak all the way here. I like this. So let's go. Oh, they take like this. Aha, uh -huh, because if I take, they have this. But I could take this pawn. I might sacrifice that exchange. Oh, wait. I, I, uh, what, what, what am I talking about? <laughs> Was I considering this move? <laughs> no, I'll take here. This is what I'll play. And then I'll win a pawn just easily, easy and safe. That's perfect. And now we take here and then we're attacking this pawn. And my knight is a monster. It's really a monster. So the queen is defending the pawn. Let's play queen here. Or, or let's bring the rook. Oh, maybe a rook here. Yeah, let's go with the queen here. I'm, at, I'm just attacking this pawn. Okay, we can take now. Here. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about this rook sneaking there. Uh, I hope it won't be a problem. Okay, let's play rook here. So if they take, we take. Anyway, this pawn is not really attacked right now. So it's all right. Yeah, they keep the rook there. But I'm, I'm, I am wondering, can I go here and be very, very, very annoying? I mean, if I go here, there is queen there. Then I take here with check. Okay, we, we can go there. I love it. Because there is this move that is attacking three times there. It looks really scary. If my opponent can take there with the rook, I take... This is basically going to be checkmate. But I can move after queen of three. And I can take here by giving a check. And once the king moves, I take here by threatening checkmate. Okay. So here I could already trade everything. I could trade all my pieces. But maybe I'm not in a hurry to do that. So I will play first rook here. This is something that really grandmaster, uh, grandmasters taught me. Like, what Grandmasters are very good at doing is that before trading off, they improve every single piece. They just try to maximize. I, I just got a little bit scared, but I think this is just a bluff. Because I can take, and there is no... I mean, yeah, you, you can do a discovery check, but where do you go with the bishop? You can go there or there. It doesn't look like such a big deal, and then I just go back, and the threat is, uh, is still there, you know? All right, the queen goes there. <laughs> This is scary, but hey, I should be holding this. So I will take here with the rook. Okay, let's calculate. I take, check, I go there, check, I go there. Even if there is a check, I can go there and there are no longer checks. Yes, I take with the rook. And with the rook is very important because I'm controlling all these squares. And now I just run all the way there. I run, I'm running. There is, the last check is here. And I made sure that to take with the rook and not with the knight because the rook is controlling the square. So now, if the queen goes a check, gives a check here after king, there is still a check, and then I'm not sure if I'm able to escape from them. Is that now I just go there? There is a final check, but this is just a checkmate, <laughs> which is fun to respond to a check to with checkmate. It's uh, pretty much unique. Okay, we have. I think we have Bing Boom Bam now, right? Bing, Boom, and Bam. Let's go, guys. So. I have tried. The goal of this video was to get to 1900, but I'm not. I'm just three points away, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we will come back tomorrow for the last four days of this challenge. Remember to like and subscribe for 69 ELO points. And so that my cold goes away and I can come back with full energy. Please like this video. I made it even if I'm sick. 
And yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.